So let's look at a cantilever. So away from the world of trusses into the world of cantilevers. Um, here we've got our same modulus elasticity just given to us in PSI. A loading of 10 kips, uh, an area moment of inertia of 100 inches to the fourth, a length of six, and we want to know the deflection at the free end of the cantilever beam. Okay, so when we are talking, so we're away from trusses now, we're on to beams. So what this is asking us for is deflection at the free end of a cantilever beam. Okay, and when we see that, that's a point load, right? We recognize that as a point load. So let's go ahead to that FE reference manual. They have a lot of nice diagrams on these uh, starting on page 140. So I'm going to show you a couple of those and how to use them. Grab it out here. Okay, this is actually page 141 is where the cantilever beams start, but there is uh, on page 140 um, simply supported beam deflection diagrams as well. So somehow I put that in the wrong page in my book, I think. But anyway, we don't need that. We're going to look at page 141, but just know that on page 140 um, are the simply supported beams as well. But what we're interested in here are the cantilever beams. Also, just to show you, on 142, uh, there's piping segment slopes and, defect, and deflections as well. So 140, 141, 142 is going to have this type of information. I would definitely look over those diagrams because they can be super helpful when you need to solve a problem. Um, you don't have to derive a formula for this. Let's zoom on in on this uh, beam. Okay, so how do I know to use this? Well, I'm being asked for deflection, and it is a cantilever beam, and it has a point load. Now, we take a look at this and say, well, that point load is not at the end, right? This point load's at the end. This point load is, you know, in a little bit from the end. That's okay because we're given these dimensions A and B, so we could just say, well, B is just equal to zero, right? And in this case, a would be equal to L. A is equal to the length of the beam. So that's okay if the point load's not exactly where you need it to be with those A and B. So we're going to go ahead and use that formula for deflection. Um, pull that right off of there. That uh, the maximum deflection is going to be this minus PA squared over 6EI uh, times 3L minus A. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down to start with. So minus PA squared over 6EI uh, times 3L minus A. Now before I start plugging things in here, I like to look and come up with what these variables mean. And like I said, they're labeled here on the diagram. So in our case, A is just equal to L right, because A is that distance from the cantilever to the point load. It's that whole length of the beam, so it's L. Um, P is P. <laughs> um, we could say B is equal to zero, but we actually don't have a B in this formula, so that's really all we need to know here. Um, we are told here that L is equal to six feet. Um, but when we're going to plug this in, when we use this formula, we can see inches here. We see inches here. So let's go ahead and change that feet. I go ahead and change that feet to inches right away. So I'm just going to make that 72 inches right off the bat there. OK, and now it's just plugging, plugging our stuff in here. So for our Vmax, we're going to have minus uh, that A is L. So it's PL squared over. 6EI uh, times 3L minus L, so that's really just 2L. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay. 
Okay, so for our P here, uh, we've got uh, 10 kips. But remember that is, even though we're told P equals 10 kips, we have to look at our point load here. It is in this downward direction. So when we put this into our equation, we have a minus sign as part of our equation, but our P is a minus 10 kips. So important thing to remember. And we have our 72 inches squared, and then also uh, 2 times 72 inches. And then this is all over 6 uh, times, I'm just going to use this in KSI, 29,000 KSI um, times 100 inches to the fourth. Okay, and then just put all of that into your calculator, hopefully correctly. You should wind up with uh, 0 0.429 inches. Right, so I'll give you a minute to copy that down and plug that in. So it's really finding, knowing that those equations are in there. I um, guess you can, you could really search on cantilever beam. Um, it is in the mechanics of material section. Um, but yeah, cantilever beam or deflection to find that equation. I don't know where I put that, page 140, but it's here somewhere. <laughs>